Hello, everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today I do appreciate you stopping by. Today's beer comes from Treehouse. That usually means it's going to be real tasty. This is their Saturated, which is a, a double or imperial IPA coming in at 8.3% alcohol on this one. And on the bottom of it, it has uh, Candon 1125.19. And above it, it says Chewy Pillows. Well, hopefully you're not chewing up a pillow. That might, that might be kind of funky, huh? So, this comes by the way of my beer brother Greg, and he writes, Treehouse, uh, saturated, they tried something a little different with this American double IPA, you be the judge. Hmm, okay, we shall see. Uh, I think they have done something different on this one here, guys. He doesn't go into a lot of detail on uh, what they've done, so let me jump over, and Treehouse is up in Massachusetts, guys. I can't get their beers. Uh, I don't even think they distribute. You have to buy stuff at the brewery there. Uh, <clears throat> it says here, saturated on untapped. So saturated is a treehouse double IPA brewed with orange blossom honey. A little different there. Golden syrup, homemade mango, simple syrup, and a blend of fruit forward American hops. It's carefully crafted to gently convey the essence of its individual constituents without an overly saccharine result. Saturated. Pours a glowing orange color in the glass and immense flavors and aromas of juicy fruit gum, mango puree, light citrus honey, and sweet apricot. It's deeply complex and original, carving out a beautiful path of individualism and intrigue within our lineup of hoppy offerings, and we are quite excited to share it with you today. So, big 16-ounce can, plain Jane, wraparound label, and treehouse. <clears throat> Does these crazy funky labels where there's nothing written on the front of it, uh, and uh, it's what it is. That's that's I guess one of their uh, idiosyncrasies of putting artwork on the front of it and, uh, or some, something like that, and putting everything written on the back uh, so you can't see it when it's sitting back in front of the camera. Now I'll spin this around and you can see they've got that. And even the artwork is, is covering up some of the writing or overlaying some of the writing. And then the you know, government warning on this side. But not a lot of information unless you spin the can around and start trying to read what's in the, on the back of it here. But they are giving us the can on date and the ABB. So two of the most important things. So uh, we don't have the IBUs for this beer. They keep that stuff secret at Treehouse usually. Uh, and a lot of other breweries do that too. Uh, some don't, some do. So, uh, it is what it is, guys. So, let's get this thing open and get it into the glass and see what this brings to the table. I always enjoy beers from this uh, brewery, guys. I wish I could get them here. I do. Very cloudy coming out. Very hazy. Definitely looks like a, a typical treehouse New England style beer. Oh, a little over a finger of head on that pour, guys. It does look like a glass of orange juice there. Very, very nice. Very impressive looking beer. It looks like it's going to be a very tasty treat, guys. I am a big fan of this New England style beer. So, to the nose we go. Oh, big time. Citrusiness. A little bit of that orange blossom honey in there. Get some oranges, maybe a hint of some mango, some pine, grapefruit. <sighs> Smells awesome. But the orange blossom honey, you're definitely getting that big whiff of orange blossoms in there. Smells very, very tasty, guys. Let's dive in. I'm thirsty. How about you? Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg. Thank you, sir. Wow. It's got a twang to it. 
but it's very, very, very tasty. Like I said, I've, I've never been disappointed in a treehouse beer, I don't think. I mean, everything is usually in the A category. Some of them, they're at the top of the A category. It does have a twang to it. And I don't know what that's coming from. Uh, and they're using uh, some kind of golden syrup and mango simple syrup. Uh, I don't know if it's the syrupiness uh, that I'm tasting for the twang. Uh, I'm not sure. But it does have a twang to it. It doesn't seem to be the IBUs giving it the bitterness. It just has a twang to it. So maybe it's the, maybe it's the orange blossom uh, uh, honey that they've used on this one. So uh, we're going to dump the bottom end of the can in there. I don't see how it could possibly change the appearance in it. It already looks like a glass of orange juice already, guys. So uh, very impressive. I am a big fan uh, of these New England style beers, guys. I am. Alcohol on this one seems to be very, very well hidden, which is basically what makes me such a big fan of them. I mean, if you're drinking a six or seven percenter or if you're drinking an eight or nine percenter they do it very very well I mean these beers could sneak up on you and hopefully you're drinking these uh, bigger ABV beers at home or have a designated driver I don't want to see you get hurt or hurt any innocent people I say that all the time guys uh, I'm not here to preach to you about drinking and driving uh, hopefully you're smart enough to know that you should not do that so Let's sip on this, let it come up to room temperature, and we'll come back and give it a grade. I like it. Alright guys, I'm back. Been sipping on a file. Very, very nice slicing of stuff on the glass. Impressive beer, guys. Uh, it's got a twang to it that I've gotten used to since I've been sipping on it for a little bit now. Uh, but to me, it's not quite as tasty as a lot of their usual offerings. But I still think it's a, a well-made beer. I call it well-hidden. Uh, that twang is just a little bit, a little bit different, uh, and you might like this. Don't base on what you're going to buy. If you can get your hands on these beers, give it a try. You may love it. To me, it doesn't have all that tropical fruit notes that it typically has. And a little bit of that strange twang, whether it's the orange blossom honey or, or, or some of that syrup that they've used. Uh, it, it doesn't blow my hair back on my socks off, but I still think it's an impressive beer. And I would buy this beer if I could get it here because it's an 8.3 percenter and it's a New England style beer and it's very tasty, guys. Final joke. Not quite to the 10 category, guys, in my opinion, but I do think it's pretty damn close. I'm going to give it a 98, which is in the upper end of the uh, A category. So, over to Beer Advocate, they say 91 outstanding, so I'm giving it a better grade than those guys are. And over to Untap for the final check in, they have it at 4.31. That is in their A category, in my opinion, but not in the upper end of the A category. So, not the best numbers I've seen from those guys on a beer, so... I think I'm giving it a better grade than both of those guys, uh, both of those sites. Uh, so, it was very enjoyable. Thanks for sending it to me, Greg. I do appreciate it, sir. It is a little different, uh, like you said, uh, but I still found it enjoyable. Uh, it, it's a little different, like you said. Uh, so, if you've had the saturated from uh, Treehouse Brewing, uh, let me know what you think, guys. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.